Welcome to Going Digital with Zoom Catalog. Our goal with Going Digital is to highlight industry leaders and their digital transformation in the promotional product industry. We hope you find this information helpful and that it will be valuable to you and help you grow your business. With that said, I'd like to introduce Brian Hernandez. He's with Logomark and he's their director of marketing. Hi, Brian, welcome. Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? Good, good, how about yourself? Good, we're excited to have you. So to get started, why don't you just tell us a little bit about Logomark and your role at the company? Yeah, um, I'm the director of marketing here at Logomark. Um, we're a promotional product supplier um, in the industry. And um, I uh, manage the graphics and marketing team, um, you know, manage the day-to-day -day activities. Um, and, uh, you know, we, as Logomark, we, we specialize in the hard goods market. Um, that's kind of our, our niche. But we also, also do um, non-hard goods. Um, that are in high demand, for example, like face masks, displays, um, and, uh, and, and other, um, other, other soft goods as well. Um, we actually have partnerships as well with retail brands like Solo New York, Pelican, Sherpani, and Igloo. Um, that's another um, uh, uh, marketing strategy that we're, um, we're really focused on. Awesome. And those soft goods, are they new to your line um, because of COVID or did you guys offer those beforehand? Um, we offered some before COVID, so we kind of went into the display market um, before, you know, COVID hit. Um, but yeah, no, once COVID hit, we did pivot to face mask and we actually pivoted to, to other PPE materials. So like, uh, you know, hand sanitizers, yeah. um, shields, uh, and, and all those uh, other high demand PPE items. And the, those were really a good, uh, it really helped us, you know, helped us and our distributors when, when it hit and it really helped us all pivot and, and, and stay in business. Yeah, yeah, an interesting uh, shift that none of us yeah. saw coming. Yeah. Um, so, you know, COVID obviously has affected a lot of businesses, and I think you guys were undergoing a digital transformation prior to COVID. So, tell us a little bit about that. What is the transformation at Logomark? Yeah, um, you know, we've always been, you know, transitioning to digital. Um, uh, you know, even before COVID, as as you said, you know, we went to a uh, digital catalogs back in 2019. Um, and, uh, you know, we've recently launched our virtual design center at the PPAI show this, uh, this past few weeks. Um, so we, we've always been transitioning to digital before COVID, but now with COVID, it really accelerated that a lot, you know, not only for us, you know, we've seen the industry really, really change uh, mm -hmm. as a whole. Yeah, definitely. And so what are the, some of the biggest challenges that you've come across along the way? Yeah, um, so, you know, there's always challenges, um, especially in the digital age. Um, but like one, one that I recall, um, uh, you know, that comes to memory is uh, last year when we were doing our website relaunch. You know, we did a few, a whole complete redesign for Logomark's uh, website and the functionality and everything. And as, as as you might, you know, be aware, there's a lot of bugs, there's a lot of changes, there's a lot of design changes that go into into that. It was a, a lengthy process, but. Um, you know, after, you know, ironing, ironing everything out, you know, essentially uh, it was the relaunch was a success. Nice. Yeah. Rebuilding a website is a huge undertaking. Yes. Yes. With it is. Many products and services that you guys offer. So I can only imagine. <laughs> well, yes. Congrats yes. on getting it done. Let's talk about catalogs and flyers. Obviously, that's our world. Um, you guys have always done a great job. It seems like you've made some changes recently. So what is your strategy behind your digital catalogs and flyers? Yeah, you know, when we um, would produce our print catalogs, you know, there wasn't any way to customize them um, for, you know, for our distributors. And since when we went digital, you know, now distributors can customize them, um, as well as the dissipation of the catalogs into the market is a lot more effective. You know, we host them on Zoom catalog, you know, we host them on our website, and we also, you know, post them on our social media platforms, industry platforms, and our email marketing platforms. Uh, so we get much more impact for a lot less cost. Not only that, uh, is, has also been um, just the, the environment uh, that we've been in in the past few years. You know, there's been massive uh, changes in pricing due to logistics, due to tariffs. And, um, you know, as a supplier, we got to be able to, um, you know, uh, adjust pricing and all that in real time. And, you know, utilizing these digital catalogs has really, you know, allowed us to do that. Right. Yeah. Power of digital. You can update it. Yes. <laughs> get a level of tracking, which obviously you don't get with print, which I'm sure has been valuable as well. And your catalogs are beautiful. They're really well designed. And it looks like you're doing more breakout catalogs 
also using interactivity inside of them, linking through to your website. Um, is that a new strategy or have you guys been doing that for a while? Yeah, no, we, we've always been doing that. So, so it isn't a new strategy. Um, even when we were doing print catalogs um, on the, what, before we transitioned to the, the, the completely digital, we actually uh, uh, implemented QR codes for oh, wow. each item so people can scan it and they can see live inventory and everything. So when we transitioned into digital, we still wanted to keep that, those types of functionality. So that's why we link it to the website. That way, you know, you can get the live inventory, you know, see, see more detailed information that you can't get in a traditional catalog, like, you know, detailed imprint information and so on. You know, we've, we've transitioned into these breakout catalogs um, and they're more, um, you know, specific to, you know, either the industries or their categories, you know, we'll have like a PPE specific catalogs or even uh, category specific catalogs, like our drinkware catalogs and our bags catalogs. And, you know, the, the main strategy behind that is, you know, we realize that, uh, you know, a lot of customers don't want to go through a, a big dictionary to try to find, a, you know, the product that they want to use for their program. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so we created these more specific uh, catalogs that are much more easier uh, for our distributors and for customers to, you know, narrow down, uh, you know, once they know that they're going to want to go with, for instance, a drinkware item, they can just look at the drinkware catalog. I think that's been very beneficial and uh, for, for our customers and for our distributors to you know, be able to more easily find our products quicker. Right, makes a lot of sense. Um, so switching topics, um, Logomark obviously offers a really broad range of products and you mentioned a few brand names as well. Do you guys take any inspiration or learn anything from B2C companies that are probably a little bit more ahead of our industry in terms of digital transformation? Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, you know, we, at the heart of our company, you know, we are B2B, but, um, uh, you know, uh, the way we're, we're positioned, um, you know, our distributors, um, you know, need, need the assets to, to be able to go to market. So we are B2B, but we go to market like B2C. Um, so a lot of our marketing material and everything that you see is, is targeted to the end user, and we make it so it's very easy for our distributors to be able to um, utilize it as their own. Yeah, that's awesome. And then with uh, Zoom Custom, they can repurpose and rebrand and you're giving them tools that yes, look amazing yes. that they can present as, as their own. Yes, and that, that has been awesome. We, we get, you know, we always get notified when people customize the catalogs and it's on a daily basis that, you know, people are utilizing the catalogs and customizing them. Talking about going virtual, PPI Expo this year was online. That was kind of a unexpected surprise for us all. You guys definitely you know, did a great job being there. So what was your experience with the virtual show? Yeah, you know, uh, overall, I think it was a, a very great experience um, with, the, with the PPAI show. Um, and, and not only that show, you know, there's a lot, lot, a lot of uh, shows have been going virtual as of late because of, you know, the pandemic. And um, yeah, yeah, you know, I think that the show was great. Um, we have noticed that um, distributors and, and customers in general are, are starting to get fatigued, Zoom fatigued. Yeah. of so many meetings and virtual shows and, you know, just, just being on the cam. And, you know, that was one of the major decision drivers to be, a, you know, a dif differentiator uh, at the show and, and, and launched the, the virtual design center to really, you know, give a, a, a virtual experience to users that's different than what they've been doing all year long. Yeah, that was really amazing. I checked it out a little bit, but for those that don't know about it, can you explain your virtual design center a little bit? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's basically, um, you know, kind of like a, virtual, you know, reality, should I say, um, of our, of our um, showrooms um, that we have. So you can actually walk through them, um, click on the items and view, you know, the different, uh, you know, all the information from the items from the different colors to even live inventory. Um, and we've, we're always adding new tools. For instance, right now you can create wish lists and you can save them um, and email them to yourself. And, you know, we're, we're, we're always going to be releasing new tools um, on an ongoing basis um, uh, this year about every two weeks. So it's, it's, a, it, it's, it's gonna be a major part of uh, Logomark for the next uh, year. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a really big undertaking to set up a virtual replica of your showroom. Was that challenging? Yeah, yeah, def it definitely was. But, um, you know, it was fun. And, um, you know, I, and I think, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely uh, the future. So it's clear that Logomark is going digital. What's next? Um, a lot, uh, but um, you know, I think uh, 
Some of the biggest uh, kind of things that are on our radar is a, a, a complete revamp on our uh, product videos. Um, you know, we, we're, we're going to go with a lot more lifestyle romance type uh, uh, product videos. And, you know, just like I previously mentioned that the design center, you know, that's going to be a, the, one of the biggest focus as far as digital goes. And of course, we're still going to be putting out our catalogs um, and that's that's an ongoing um, uh, activity that we do on our end, and we're going to be a uh, uh, part of the the videos that I was talking about. We're actually going to want to embed those in in the catalogs and and start you know making them a lot more interactive as well. Yeah, that's awesome. All the tools kind of can merge together at some point with catalogs in your showroom and videos in your catalog. So we're excited to be part of that and see where you guys take it. So last question, do you have any advice for suppliers or even distributors that are going digital right now? Yeah, you know, um, you know, muscle through it. You know, it's 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 hard. Um, you know, when I entered the industry, you know, I noticed that it's a it's a little slower than the retail industry. But um, you know, it 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 is uh, it is essential. You know, I think COVID really um, uh, you know uh, sped up the process of companies going digital. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the ones that don't aren't going to survive. So you know, you got to muscle through it and 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 you know, go digital. Yeah, definitely. Great advice. Nice. All right, Brian. Well, that's it for today. So thank you so much for giving us an insight into how Logo Mark is going digital and a little bit about your transformation. We'll definitely want to catch up down the road, see where we're at and how things are going for you guys. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you as well, Brian. It was a great meeting.